Hello, this is Kevin with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a collection to a navigation menu. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change a collection from a regular manual collection to a smart collection, uh, just so that products automatically go into that collection. Uh, and you can do that uh, by sorting it through different ways, but I'm going to do it by vendor. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, this collection here. Actually, I'll just add another collection. I'm going to call it uh, the same thing. And it's called Lucky Feathers. And this is automatically going to put the selected products in. I'm going to do it by vendor. So this vendor is going to be Lucky Feathers. And it's going to automatically put anything that's Lucky Feathers on Vendor in the product into this collection. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now let's go ahead and go back to our collections. And uh, let's just get rid of this one. Delete. Select the products. Collections, that is. And go and add the picture into this. Save that and that should bring up the picture for there. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to the navigation menu. And we just we want to put this on the main menu, so we're going to edit the link list and add another link. Then we're going to go in to feathers going to be the name of it, and we're going to connect it to a collection. You can also connect it to products or pages, so it can go directly to an item. So once you select from the center column on the third column, you need to choose that collection, and here it is, Lucky Feathers, and that's all there is to it. So you can go in and view this in your store, and you'll see a drop-down on the main menu. So let's just go to... and here's Lucky Feathers. Now if we go in to back to here we can also move this around and let's just say we want it to be right on the front so now it's going to be now it's going to move from over here to over to the left so now we have it right here and that's all there is to it. Thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites. Now this is part two of working with navigation menus and smart collections on a Shopify website. And this is Kevin King from Pinehurst Websites. And what we're going to do now is we've connected a, uh, our main menu at the top of the screen as uh, we saw before. And um, we've connected the main menu right here by putting uh, a new category. Now I've made another sub uh, link list and we want to connect those as well. So the way we're going to be able to connect those is we're going to have to use smart collections. So if we look at our links, what we did was we added another link list uh, which was called, we were doing Lucky Feather here, and this other link list is down at the bottom. And you create it the same way. Uh, right here it is. And uh, when we're going to go in and edit it, we don't have it connected right now. We have to connect it. It's connected to charms, but it needs to be connected to uh, Lucky Feather Charms. And this needs to have the exact same name as the, the list in the navigation menu and the collection so that we can connect everything. So the first thing we're going to have to do is instead of uh, this can say charms, it can say anything you want, but the connection, uh, collection it's going to connect to is going to be uh, Lucky Feather Charms. So let's create that collection and make it a smart collection and it's going to have to have, uh, it's going to have to be an item type that's going to be Charm and it's going to have to be the vendor that's going to be Lucky Feather. So we're just going to go in, let's go ahead and use this right here, and we're going to go into Collections 
and we're going to add a collection and this is going to be Lucky Feather Charms and I'll just copy this so it has some content in it. You can add anything you want in your description and this will make your meta description. We want to automatically uh, fill this product category so we're going to do by item type and it has to be equal to charm and then also so it has to meet uh, both of these conditions as opposed to any condition so it's got to have a vendor of lucky feather and we go save now if we go back to our navigation We're just going to go down to the Lucky Feather Charms and we're going to edit that link list and we're going to connect that to Lucky Feather Charms. So it's only going to give you items that are Lucky Feather and you want to do that with each one of these. So you want to create a um, bracelet category called uh, Lucky Lucky Feather Bracelets um, and then the same thing with uh, Lucky Feather Chain Necklaces and Lucky Feather Rings and you put those two criteria adding an item type and a vendor and um, that's all there is to it and then you just save this and you are all set so now on the top this is going to connect to only lucky feather charms so there aren't any products in that yet but once you add a charm uh, for the item type and you add the vendor of lucky feather it will fill into this category so thanks for tuning in to uh, Pinehurst websites and you can check out uh, other tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com or you can find me on YouTube at Kevin King now.